Hi, welcome to the CCNS tutorial on how to set up your Discord for Zwift racing. So we're going to go to our user settings. We're going to go to voice and video. And we first want to make sure that the input device and output device are the ones we're going to be using. This is really important because if we don't use our setup for when we're Zwifting, we won't know if it works when it's time. Now, I usually like setting this up with my trainer and fans going off in the background just because it will give me the best setup for when it actually counts. So I can just hop on Zwift and start racing. Our input mode has voice activity or push to talk. Voice activity is what you know from Zoom or any other network you're using. This is just a continuous stream of your voice into the chat. If your setup is dialed and your mic isn't too sensitive, then this is fine. But you again, want to make sure you test everything you have. In push to talk, you have a shortcut that allows you to activate your voice only when you want it to be heard. This is what we recommend because regardless of mic setup, it makes sure that only what we want to hear is what we hear and that all of the other noises don't drain you off. This is great for Zwift because with all the fans and the trainer going on, it makes sure we only hear you talk. Now you can set up any shortcut, but I like the spacebar best because when I'm going hard, it's easiest to access and it's the biggest thing I can find. So that's all you need to know. Make sure you test everything with the less check button and then you're good to go. Right on.